This Ninth Circuit Court ruling, uh, well, the vacation, they vacated a ruling, so it's going back to the district court, and at some point it's going to wind. I, I'm thinking it might wind its way up before the Supreme Court, which, if it does, I don't see how anyone would not be able to side with the president, regardless of what they believe or what they feel about his politics. He was well within his constitutional authority to do what he did, and the Constitution is incredibly explicit. And Trump, through this executive order, did exactly that, policy within the executive branch. But I think the Ninth Circuit Court, or the circus, the Ninth Circus, uh, usually is, as it's referred to, this is one of the most overturned, overturned courts in the country. It's supremely liberal, supremely progressive. Um, and so it's not surprising that they would do this. I think this is kind of what everyone was sort of expecting. But here's the thing, it does actually pose a security threat to the United States, because right now you have individuals, Grant, who are looking at this, this stay, because as, as of right now, the floodgates are open. Uh, the vetting system, as, as much as the administration is trying to get it to, to operate more efficiently and more stringently, people are seeing this as an opportunity to exploit this period and try to rush through the doors. And that's, I mean, we're, 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 I, I'm afraid that, and my fear is that we're going to see something related to this. Hopefully we won't. But this is within the scope of the president's jurisdiction. And anyone who would consider otherwise, they kind of need to go back and maybe reread their constitution.